you've spent your life in in news. I mean, you've been writing, yeah. you know, for newspapers long before mm -hmm. most people even knew you on cam. So what do you make of this deal? And would it ever have struck you that this was illegal? This kind of thing is illegal to accept money from somebody or give money to somebody in order to quash their story or kill it, as the saying goes. No, look, I, I ran two of the biggest tabloid newspapers in Britain for 10 years. And this kind of deal in different ways goes on everywhere um, with all newspapers around the world. You know, if, if you have a, a massive star and there's a damaging story about them and they want to suppress that story, then sometimes they'll give you a better one about themselves to kill off the other one. Or, you know, there's always some kind of deal that could be done. Um, when I When I just... Realise this would be the first case, Megan, that was going to come up with the four. Because some of them are clearly, more, I think, more serious and more legitimate and, more, and better cases to answer for Trump than others. But this one seems so petty. It seems so trivial. You know, ultimately, it's about whether or not Donald Trump had a one-night stand with a porn star 18 years ago in a Beverly Hills hotel. A, I don't care. I'm interviewing Stormy Daniels. You know, she's very plausible when you interview her. Um, but I wasn't in the room. I don't know what really happened. Donald Thank Trump denies it. But I, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but either way, either way, I don't care. And I don't think most people care very much. And I think that what's happened here, you've got a clearly politically motivated prosecutor who's a paid up Democrat. Uh, you've got a judge who's a, obviously a Democrat as well. And they decided to throw the kitchen sink at Trump by jacking up what should be just a state misdemeanor at worst into some sort of huge seismic federal crime. Well, all the polling I've seen on this shows that most Americans aren't buying this. They don't think that Trump committed a crime here, and they think it's a massive overreach by the prosecution. So I think I heard you at the start, and I totally agree with you. Whatever happens here, you know, A, Trump may get acquitted, because there might be one member of that jury that just goes, you know what, this is ridiculous. Um, and demeaning, frankly, for America to drag a former president of the United States, one of the 40, yes. 45 people who held this incredibly high office, to drag them through such an unedifying and petty uh, courtroom fiasco for weeks on end, when he should be legitimately allowed to campaign as the uh, nominee for the Republican Party for the next elections. I think there's... It, for all sorts of reasons, this seems to me a ridiculous start to this legal battle against Trump. But whether he wins or loses, you see, I think he either wins because one juror has common sense or he loses, but actually gets martyred in the process. So spectacularly, I watched the scenes this morning going into court with people chanting Trump, Trump, Trump and four more years, four more years. I don't think this is hurting him. I think it actually over time will help him. I think yeah. it's martyring Trump. And I think the most right-minded Americans who are not partisan on the left, but are sort of independent or moderates, will look at this and go, is this really fair? And I always say, I mean, I remember when Bill Clinton was president. Um, and I remember him pour, paying Paula Jones $850,000, whatever it was, to pay her off to settle a harassment case. And I remember him having sex with an intern, Monica Lewinsky, in the Oval Office. Both of those things are a lot worse, in my estimation, given he was a serving president when the, the Monica Lewinsky thing happened, uh, and given he did the payment when he was a serving president to Paula Jones, than anything Trump did in the run-up to an election to basically get rid of a bit of a messy story that probably his biggest concern was not the damage it might do to the election, because I think people factored in. Trump and womanizing, it was probably he didn't want Melania to know all about this. But you know what, Pierce, we've been covering he, this yeah. on the show. This is not, not well enough understood, including even by us. You know, I, I have legal panels on all the time. We're all lawyers and we talk about this. If the relevant standard is not what was in Trump's head or what his subjective mm -hmm. reasons for the payment uh, were. It's the objective, objectively looking at the money. Could said money, in this case, a hush money payment, mm -hmm. have ever been used for anything other than to advance a campaign. Is this mm. kind of payment, you look at the nature of the payment. So mm. if it is payment for, I don't know, a podium at a debate, a lectern at a debate mm. stage. Okay, yes, that is something you might only ever buy for a debate, right? Like for a presidential run. Mm. But a hush money, everybody pays that. You know, as somebody who was in the mm. tabloids for years, Tons of people of pay hush money payments. So that's the standard. It's not even what was in Trump's head or whether they get an admission mm. that this was to help his electoral chances. It's irrelevant. 
Did you know Fast Growing Trees is the biggest online nursery in the U.S. with more than 10,000 different kinds of plants and over 2 million happy customers? Well, now you can grow lemon, avocado, olive, or fig trees. They have house plants too. Fast Growing Trees makes it easy to order online and ship directly to your door in one to two days. You can even speak to their specialists for a free consultation. You can find the perfect fit for your specific climate, location, and needs. Whether you're looking to add some privacy, shade, or natural beauty to your yard, Fast Growing Trees is ready to help you make the right selection from their nursery. Right now, they have some of the best deals online, like up to half off on select plants and more. Viewers get an additional 15% off when using the code MEGAN at checkout. That's an additional 15% off at fastgrowingtrees.com. Use the code M-E-G-Y-N at checkout. Go to fastgrowingtrees.com, code MEGAN. This offer won't last forever. Tell them I sent you. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.